Time for another crash course, this time in square roots. So I'm really going to try to keep it under three minutes. We're going to make it a little shorter this time. Here we go. So square roots. First thing you got to know is that this thing's called a radical symbol. Second thing you got to know, there's actually an invisible two written right there. See? We don't actually write the two. It's an invisible two right there. And that's important because when we do cube roots or other roots later, uh, there will be a number there. This means the number times itself twice. Okay? If there was a three, you'd be looking for a number cubed. Um, the number inside the radical symbol is called the radicand. So what square roots ask, like this is a square root of five. Remember, there's an invisible two right here. This is asking, this thing, what it really means is what number times itself twice is five? What number squared is five? That's what it's asking. Okay? Um, prime numbers. If you have a square of a prime number, and a prime number is a number that has two factors exactly, one in itself, uh, if you have a square root of a prime number, it's called irrational. Now, here's an example of an irrational number. Square root of 2 is exact. The approximation would be 1.4. Actually, the, would, the decimal just keeps continuing forever. It never repeats. No pattern. Nothing. So, this is exact. Anything with a decimal would be an approximation of this irrational number. When you end up with an irrational number, um, that's how you know you're done simplifying square root. So, on to simplifying square roots. The way you simplify a square root is you factor the radicand and you look for the biggest perfect square. Now, if you don't know what a perfect square is, perfect square is like 16 is an example because 4 squared is 16. 25 is a perfect square because 5 squared is 25. All right, so you factor the radicand. Here are the factors of 24. Do them in order. Don't skip around because you'll miss one, right? And you look for the biggest perfect square. You could do this in your head. Uh, 4 is the biggest perfect square that's a factor of 24. So I'm going to rewrite square root of 24 as square root of 4 and square root of 6. Now, what number times itself is 4 is, of course, 2. Square root of 6, that's irrational because 2 times 3, 3. 2 is prime and so is 3. I'm done. So anyway, uh, this right here really means 2 times the square root of 6. And if I wanted to check to see if this was right, I would take my answer and square it. 2 times the square root of 6 squared times 2 times square root of 6, right? So you can change the order when you multiply. 3 times 5 times 4 is the same as 3 times 4 times 5. You can rearrange it however you want. So I'm going to put the rational numbers together right here. 2 times 2 is 4. Square root of 6 times square root of 6 is the square root of 36. Number squared to 36 is 6. 4 times 6 is 24. This number right here times itself is 24. That's how I know I'm right. Okay. Almost out of time. Square root of 18x cubed. You factor 18 into 9 times 2. x cubed is x squared times x. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of x squared is x. And you're left with this. So that would be your answer if you wanted to check it. You take it and you multiply it by itself. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. That's 4x to the square root of 4x squared. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of x squared is x. 18x cubed. I am over my three minutes, just barely, but I hope this was helpful. I know it was quick. It was intended to be review, not uh, foundational instruction. If you found it helpful, please click like. If you would like uh, more in-depth instruction, check the notes, the description, and uh, questions, leave them in the comments, and please subscribe. Have a good day.